Here we'll go over an example in which a strong acid is mixed with a strong base and we calculate the pH of the final mixture. We're given that 125 milliliters of 0 0.150 molar H2SO4 is mixed with 150 milliliters of 0 0.200 molar KOH. And we're asked to determine the pH of the final mixture. Just a few words about sulfuric acid, H2SO4. H2SO4 is a diprotic acid, which means it has two protons it can lose. As soon as H2SO4 is added to water, it ionizes completely to lose its first proton. 100% of the H2SO4 molecules lose one proton to form hydronium and hydrogen sulfate ions. But when it's just in water, the second proton does not come off as easily. This proton comes off when HSO4- ionizes, but HSO4- is a weak acid, so its ionization in water is very limited. However, when H2SO4 is mixed with a strong base, KOH, this is a totally different situation. When an H2SO4 molecule enters water, it loses one proton to water to form a hydronium ion and a hydrogen sulfate ion, HSO4-. Models of these are shown here. Take a moment to check the atoms and the charges and see how the formulas relate to the structural models. When the strong base, KOH, dissociates in water, it forms K plus and OH minus ions. Here we doubled everything in the equation. We show models of the two hydroxide ions from the KOH. One of the hydroxide ions collides with a hydronium ion and takes away a proton to form two water molecules. The other hydroxide ion collides with a hydrogen sulfate ion and takes a proton from it to form a water molecule and a sulfate ion. The sulfate ion has the formula SO4 2 minus. So, in an indirect way, two hydroxide ions are able to remove both protons from a molecule of H2SO4. We'll show this with equations. As soon as the H2SO4 is added to water, it ionizes completely to form a hydronium ion and a hydrogen sulfate ion. We'll call this step 1. When we add a strong base, one OH- ion neutralizes the hydronium ion to form two water molecules. We'll call this step 2 and the other OH- reacts with the hydrogen sulfate ion to form water and a sulfate ion. We'll call this step 3. Even though we know these three steps occur when we add H2SO4 to water and then add a strong base, we can represent the process with a net overall equation. H2SO4 plus 2OH- form 2H2O plus SO4 2-. So in the overall net reaction, we see that each H2SO4 donates two protons, or H plus ions, to hydroxide ions. From this, we can write the conversion factor stating that there are two moles of H plus per one mole of H2SO4. We can use this conversion factor in any calculation where H2SO4 reacts with a strong base. Now we'll do the calculations for this problem. We'll begin by calculating the initial moles of H plus added. It's equal to 0 0.150 moles of H2SO4 per liter times 2 moles of H plus to 1 mole of H2SO4 times 0.125 liters, which comes out to 0 0.0375 moles of H plus. Notice moles of H2SO4 and liters cancel out. In order to preserve three significant figures, the lowest number of significant figures in the given data, the answer to this must be expressed to four decimal places. Now we'll calculate the initial moles of OH- added. It is equal to 0 0.200 moles of KOH per liter times one mole of OH- to one mole of KOH times 0 0.150 liters, which comes out to 0 0.0300 moles of OH-. We can see that the moles of KOH and liters both cancel. Notice we also have three significant figures and four decimal places in this answer. Now we'll compare the initial moles of H plus and OH minus. We see that 0 0.0375, the 
the moles of H plus is greater than 0 0.0300 the moles of OH minus. So the H plus is in excess and the OH minus is the limiting reagent. We calculate the excess moles of H plus. By taking 0 0.0375 moles of H plus and subtracting 0 0.0300 moles of OH minus to give us 0 0.0075 moles of H plus in excess. This answer, 0 0.0075, has four decimal places, because the numbers we subtracted both had four decimal places. But we can see that written this way, this number has only two significant figures, the 7 and the 5. Therefore, the final answer to this problem cannot have more than two significant figures. The next step on the way to pH is to find the hydronium ion concentration, which is equal to the concentration of H+. These are synonymous in chemistry dealing with aqueous solutions. The concentration of H+, is equal to moles of H+, per liter of solution. The moles of H+, is 0 0.0075 moles. And the total volume of the mixture is 0.125 liters of H2SO4, plus 0 0.150 liters of KOH. So the concentration of H+, plus, or H3O+, plus, is 0 0.0075 moles over 0.275 liters, which comes out to 0 0.0273 molar. We'll carry more significant figures than the two our final answer is limited to. We'll round to two significant figures at the end. In the last step, we'll find the pH of the mixture. Remember pH is defined as the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration, which is the negative log of 0 0.0273, which comes out to 1.56. In a pH, the digits to the right of the decimal are significant, so this answer has two significant figures. Now we have answered the original question. The pH of the final mixture is 1.56. This low value means the solution is fairly acidic. This is reasonable because a strong acid is in excess in this case.